in this video we are going to solve a simple ODE using least square method and we'll implement uh, the, this problem in MATLAB and uh, see how we can uh, approach the exact solution okay so this is the problem that we are going to solve uh, note that this is a first order equation differential equation so it has just one boundary condition so we choose the basis function something like this let's say x squared and we construct trial solution with a linear combination of the chosen basis function and some coefficient c1 so here we are just using single basis function so we are looking for the solution in just one dimension whose basis function is x squared now we calculate the residual and it looks something like this now note that it is a function of c1 and x now since this is a least square method we will now calculate the residual norm okay which is simply the inner product with itself and note that this is a number okay this is a number now we will minimize this norm with respect to c1 by taking partial derivative of the residual norm with respect to c1 and after going through these calculations we finally arrive at the value of c1 which is close to 4.5 note that this value is when we use psi1 is equals to x squared now let us see the way the plots for if we use different uh, basis functions okay the process would be the similar we just will just use different size so let us start with psi1 is equals to x okay so this is in this plot what we have done is we have plotted the residual which is a function of x in c1 for various c's okay this is x and this is the residual and each curve represent the residual variation along the domain for various c's and the solution for x equals to 1 is c is equals to 16 which is this this curve okay this magenta curve is for Uh, for uh, C, our solution of uh, the residual after minimizing the residual norm what we get C is 16 okay so this is the residual norms variation with C okay if you change C how your residual norm varies you, you can see that it becomes minimum at C is equal to 16 now the comparison between exact and the actual solution note that this one is the exact solution this is exact I should have plotted it with a solid line but uh, uh, okay it's fine so and this is the trial solution that we have uh, constructed using c is equal to 16 so this is nothing but 16x this line is nothing but 16x now let us use psi1 is equal to x square uh, in this example you can is in, in for this particular basis function you can see that our solution like our trial solution is not no it's nowhere close to the exact one now let us use psi1 is equal to x squared these are the plots for this and you can see that the minimum value occurs at c is equal to 4.5 so a solution in this case is 4.5 x squared and again you can see that it, that is a large gap between the actual solution and the trial solution now let us use psi1 is equal to x cube Note that our actual solution for this problem is nothing but x cube. So what we expect is we should get c1 is equals to 1 and we should approach the exact solution by using this basis function. So let's see whether we get it or not. Okay, so these are the residuals for various c. Note that for c is equals to 1, which is our solution, the residual is 0 throughout the domain. It is a zero function. Okay, so this means that we have achieved the exact solution. Now the residual norm variation with C1, obviously the minima occurs at uh, C is equals to 1. This is fit for C is equals to 1. And the exact solution and the trial solution are completely or exactly same. Okay, so this is just the results. Let's see how can we implement this uh, in MATLAB using symbolic manipulation and uh, simple uh, numerical methods in MATLAB. So let's, let us see how are we going to implement this problem in MATLAB. So we first declare 
the basis uh, function psi of x and the residual function which is a function of two variables c1 and x so these are symbolic functions and these uh, x c1 and x they will be they are sim the symbolic variables that are dec declared automatically when you declare a symbolic function in this form okay here i is the basis function that you want to select the power of the basis function that you want to select this is x to the power i okay if i is equal to 1 then the basis function is x if it's 3 then the basis function is x cube okay so let us construct our basis function which is psi 1 x equals to x to the power i then we calculate the approximate solution as nothing but c1 times psi okay c1 is what we want to calculate and we calculate the residual uh, something like this we differentiate the approximate function with respect to x and minus the dx square this comes from directly from this okay, from the actual actual od and the r norm then can be calculated as uh, integration of uh, r multiplied by r with respect to x in the domain 0 to 4 so we have everything that we want to calculate beforehand and now we want to minimize this r norm okay with respect to c1 so what we do we differentiate r norm with respect to c1 and equal it to 0 so this is the equation that we want to solve for c1 okay we solve this equation for c1 and we get the actual final solution is c okay so uhx now is uh and we have input the value of c now which, whichever was the correct one and now x is just a symbolic variable so now our new uh this one is just a function of single symbolic variable x and we have replaced c which was c1 earlier with the our solution of c okay now for plotting purpose we have discretized the domain into from 0 to 4 into 50 divisions okay just just to pick the points where, where you want to plot your results okay now the first in the first figure we plot the trial solution versus the actual solution okay so to calculate the actual solution at in in this domain uh, discretized domain we just input because uh was the function of x we simply input uh and in the argument we input x naught okay so we will we'll calculate the trial solution at on these 50 points and the exact solution is x naught to power of 3 and uh, we plot this and, uh, and 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 that's what we that's what compares the exact rate exact solution with the trial solution in the figure 2 we plot the r norm with respect to various c nodes just just to see where the minimum occurs we know that it occurs where the partial derivative is zero we just 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 to, to just to plot the r norm variation with various c's we have just taken c from 1 to 20 and 100 c c nodes in this uh, range and we have plotted it because r norm was a function of c only a single symbolic variable we have input a vector okay from 1 to 20 so here we plot r norm in the figure 3 we plot uh, the residuals for different values of c residual function of x and c so we for these c's ch for these many c's we plot uh, the residual function there, there, it's, there will be multiple lines in this specific uh, uh, figure okay? because of this loop and uh, here we are also constructing the legend the text for the legend because this thing can vary the number of uh, points that you want to uh, draw so this is just to generate the legend and we'll uh, uh, display the legend in this line okay from the legend text and uh, the last legend would be the actual uh, plot for uh, the when c is equal to c solution how over residual varies this is for this plot here we are plotting that particular curve figure 4 sim similarly plots the error here what why we have used double because we will be using the similar thing in different other uh, implementations as well that because this function here this is a symbolic variable symbolic function okay so and this is a normal numerical uh, vector 
so we can when we input it a value of x not it is again a symbolic uh, vector so we convert this operation into a double so that we can use it to plot uh, in the figure okay let's let's see uh, quickly uh, step by step uh, let's go to this point first note that psi1 is a function of x because i is equals to 1 here and uh looks something like the c1x residual is uh, this c1 minus 3x squared r norm is this we want to minimize this or r norm with respect to c1 now our equation will look something like this when we differentiate it so this is the equation that we solve so c1 is nothing but 128 by 8 which is 16 so c is 16 here and uhx is now 16x this is our exact solution now note that this is a symbolic function okay not a matlab function not so we, we for for plotting purpose we'll convert into double we can use uh, the symbolic plot functions also but uh, we are just going the normal way okay now let's see the plots before that let me let me show you one other thing okay so your uh is a symbolic function and x naught is a vector so by inputting this we'll get a value of this uh at different points x naught okay x naught is how we discretize our domain into 50 region from 0 to 4 right so similarly what we have done in the error also because here we were subtracting an a non symbolic with a symbolic and uh, output was a symbolic thing so we couldn't plot it so we convert it into a double okay let's let's run the code now so this is the result that we get the first plot is for uh, actual and actual this is the residual norm this is the residual plot for various c's and is error variation okay now you can change this i and the solution will update let's use i is equal to 3 so this is what we get this is the exact solution the trial and the exit are same for i is equal to 3 yeah so that's it for this video and uh, we'll start uh, discussing a few more examples in the next video we mainly will be looking at uh, how to solve uh, the similar kind of ODEs maybe second order ODE using Kazakhins method okay yeah thank you